Now, imagine this. What if that deadly radiation hadn't been released by accident, but was deliberately unleashed for one purpose? To kill as many people as possible. So, in the 1950s and 60s, while nuclear weapons development was rapidly advancing, a small but influential group began exploring a new idea. What if there were a weapon designed to kill only the enemy's troops while leaving the infrastructure untouched? At the time, the media and critics began referring to the neutron bomb, often with biting sarcasm, as the humanitarian bomb. Because to him, what mattered was that it would minimize the destruction of buildings and critical infrastructure. In a hydrogen bomb, most of the energy is spent on things like the shock wave, intense heat and thermal radiation, and electromagnetic pulse. But in a neutron bomb, all of that combined only makes up about 20% of the total energy. The remaining 80% is unleashed in the form of high-velocity neutrons. Just thinking about the advantages of a neutron bomb gives you a chill. It feels brutally pragmatic and disturbingly realistic. 